Good morning, everybody. My name is Lauren Williamson. I'm a transfer student from Great Bay Community College, and I'm a senior here at UNH. I major in communication and women's studies. And for the past nine weeks, I have been working for the wonderful Institute for Recruitment of Teachers, or the IRT for short. Part of what made this internship possible is the grant I received from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, the New Hampshire Humanities Collaborative. As a recipient of this grant, I was tasked with representing my training in the humanities to the best of my abilities through my work at the IRT. There couldn't have been a better place to not only represent my training, but see the value of the humanities displayed in and around the office every day. I saw it in the way our executive director, LaShonda Brooks, proved herself to be a graceful and fearless leader. And I saw it in the steadfast way that everyone in the office pursued the welfare and development of our talented and diverse students. The IRT assists underrepresented students dedicated to eradicating racial disparities at all levels of education and applying to graduate school. I see their mission as two-tiered. On top is what you see here and written on their website and in brochures, but underneath that is one that's much more personal, and it centers the question of how can we ensure that our students leave the IRT with the skills that they need. Together, these two missions are basic but honorable, and they are making us constantly question how can we better serve our students and in turn, our future educators. I cannot adequately convey the profound impact that UNH faculty, Dean Reginald Wilburn, IRT class of 1998, and Dr. Aria Halliday, IRT class of 2011, have had on me here as a student of color. Representation and visibility are paramount in every field, but especially within that of education. And it is because of educators like Dean Wilburn and Dr. Halliday that I personally understand the importance and the impact of the IRT and their mission. During my time with the IRT, I completed several projects, one of which you can see here. This is part of a chart I designed to help advisors work with students while they draft their statements of purpose. But there's something I did that was more important than any of the individual projects I worked on. Little did I know, coming into this internship, I brought with me two things that were more important than I had realized. First, and you can ask my supervisor, Brittany Zorn, about this, another UNH alum and IRT alum, is my zeal for asking questions. And second is my perspective as a student. Combined, these two things made me the ideal candidate for the job. So when I sat in on things like their meetings and observed their internal processes, I was the one asking why we did things the way that we did and how can we do them better? When I was getting ready for my first day, I was feeling imposter syndrome. All the students sounded like they were working on really incredible projects with potentially major impacts on their host organizations. And I was unsure that I would be able to leave my mark on the IRT. I initially applied to the IRT because their mission of dismantling the systemic oppression of the American education system matters to me not only as a black queer woman, but as an aspiring educator. And after my nine weeks, I can proudly say I have not only personally witnessed the impact of the IRT and their work on the students that they serve, but I know that my mission has contributed, my work has contributed to the continuation of the IRT mission. And so I'd like to leave you here with a quote by one of my favorite authors and an educator with a truly revolutionary legacy, Bell Hooks. What we cannot imagine cannot come into being. Her words are more relevant now than ever, and especially in regard to the work of the IRT. They have a clear vision of something that does not yet exist and a plan to achieve it. And it is because of their work that students like me will be able to one day stand among the ranks of visionaries like Bell Hooks in the not so distant future. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much to the IRT for this wonderful transformative experience.